Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. I will be judging your swing dancing today, and I'm super excited to be scrutinizing this new Lindy Hop video from the Battle 2020. It looks like it's going to be a strictly Lindy Pro Finals, which means there's going to be a little bit of choreography and a lot of improvisation. Are you ready to get into this? I've been waiting for this one all day. Ladies it better be good, folks. We got the Let Rocky the Four begin. music. Bring out Apollo Creed. Some of you people are too young to get my Rocky reference. Okay, please make some noise <clears throat> for the finalists of the final. All right, we got pro. Strictly Pro. See, I see some familiar faces. Let me grab my notebook. All right, so right now, my, my attention is drawn mostly to the followers. Because to, to me, from what I'm looking at, it looks like some of these followers are a little bit more advanced uh, than the leaders. That's just my bias and what I'm looking at. <clears throat> looking at follower in the red shoes, uh, follower in the purple. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. Uh, this better be good. Come on, guys. I hope this is good. All right, so this is battle format. I got to go left or right. <clears throat> and uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I feel like in the, the previous round, we uh, made a slight mistake. So uh, we will make this very, very exciting <laughs> for this round. There will be a 4-8 four, eight four, eight intro. Four-eight intro, okay. You better learn how to count quick. There will be a 4-8 intro. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see what happens. I hate those long pauses. That's when I used to get real nervous. Okay. Okay, so far, technically proficient. I expect to see that with the pro final. So my eyes are not overly scrutinizing how well they can do the technique. I'm looking to see what they do with it that's different and if they can match the timing with the music. <clears throat> So far, right now, both couples are equal. The one thing I'm, I'm kind of liking is the fact that this leader is a little bit more confident with his partner. Both followers are solid. <clears throat> the weak point for me is the leader on the right is a little timid uh, compared to the other one. Couple of moments like that where they kind of get disconnected. Okay. 
Okay, I like the the first set of the the couple on the left better. And I like the the second set uh, was better on the second the couple on the right. But ultimately, I'm going to give it I'm going to give it to the couple on the left <clears throat> simply because they weren't uh, as disconnected throughout the dance. Um, but on a technical standpoint, both couples are equal. So I tell you right there, if you're already good. I don't care. I want to see what you can do that's different with it, but also match the timing. So, couple on my left. <clears throat> oh yes, this this is gonna be good. <clears throat> Angelique and Gontran. Okay, not afraid to play with the music in a different way. Okay, that has my attention. <clears throat> very good, very good. All right, Jonathan and Anna. Okay. Uh, technically proficient, but so far <clears throat> it's safe. In my opinion, it's a little safe. We're missing a little bit of the grit that makes battle so special. <clears throat> All right, so far that first round went to a couple on the right. Okay, they're swinging out. They're saying, come on guys, y'all better learn how to swing out. <clears throat> okay, a little bit of showmanship there. Okay, okay, okay. So the second round for me goes to the couple on the left. First round went to the couple on the right. If I'm judging, I don't like safe and predictable. I like the couple on the right better just because they had a little bit more playfulness and creativity. So that's my pick. <clears throat> couple on the right for me. So that's an example of me picking someone or a couple who are a little bit more expressive with the music um, in a more syncopated way, not so much just the perfect technique. And so, uh, let's see what happens with the final here. We have a full pass for the Balkan Swing Championship. For the Balkan Swing Championship. I was like, woo! All right, so starting in the green corner, Manu. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. On the right corner, Anna and Jonathan. All right, this this could be interesting. The couple on the right has a lot of energy. Couple on the left, their greatest strength is technical proficiency. Uh, so the, the last uh, the, in the uh, semi-final, there, I actually made it a bit slower than it should have been. So we will now. Now we will kill you. Tempo. <laughs> <laughs> uh. is, is everyone okay? With us going Let's faster? see what happens. Let's see what happens. I just found someone, huh? Huh, 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 huh. Okay. <clears throat> right now it's a little loose. It's not as tight when they first did their first round. Let's see, uh... What happens? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, and I can already tell this couple on the left is a little bit more comfortable moving quickly. So, so far they're winning. Okay. All right. So far, a couple on the left is, is destroying the other couple. <clears throat> Very good, very good. For me, couple on the left, just because they're more comfortable moving fast. All right. <coughs> hey, I was, uh, I was wondering uh, if the judges aren't quite ready yet. Maybe we could just do a little bit more. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, it's such a hard decision. Is, is this okay? Right now, I would be strangling that band director. <laughs> like, look, bro, I already won. If I was a couple on the left, I'd be like, what are you doing? Cut his mic. Swing out, all skate. Oh, man. Here we go, here we go. So, anything can happen on this one. The couple on the right has a bunch of debt. They gotta literally be perfect to come back. So for me, uh, the winners clearly, guys, Jonathan and Anna. Uh, let's dive a little bit into this one. I gotta first say congratulations to Jonathan and Anna for uh, their amazing uh, dancing. They had some stellar control when it came to this competition. I will tell you what, that is the first thing I go to when it comes to judging people's dancing in a Jack and Jill strictly type competition. Because of course, for me, you know, we got to give honor where honor is due. And there's a whole catalog of movement that has been around for 80 years. So if people can actually do those moves and do them in a way that looks like they're in control of it, then you get my respect. That's the number one objective thing I got to look at is can I see the leader leading without getting in the way of the follower? And can I see the follower following without getting in the way of the leader? And clearly those two had the upper hand when I looked at everything. So congratulations for you guys' incredible amount of work and discipline that is being displayed. Nobody sees the boxer when they get up at 4.30 in the morning and they start working on their technique and running in the cold, right? So what you just saw was a lot of hard work on display, but all the work has been done. They've probably been social dancing for years. They've been practicing and doing all the things that most people probably wouldn't praise. Uh, but it's good every once in a while to be able to get up in front of an audience and be recognized for all of the hard work. I can tell you right now, most of the things that I saw that I liked about their set is that it wasn't choreographed. I literally could see... Uh, Anna responding to, to Jonathan's movements in real time. I didn't see that delay or the visual cue to say, are you ready for this move? You know, I didn't see any of that um, coming through in their movement at all. And so for me, that's extra special. That's extra special. And it, and it really says a lot about both the leader and the follower's ability to just social dance. That's a whole thing and it's 
self that is special if you can make social dancing look more appealing in a performance type uh, setting where people are excited and there's a lot of music and it's a jam type session. If you can make that look interesting, you, you are doing something special. So congratulations for them again on all the hard work. Now, I will tell you, even though I had them winning, even though I think they won, I'm still a little disappointed. I don't know what it is 100%, but I will tell you, I am not PC, guys. I will tell you the truth. I do not need to hide the truth uh, in fear of impressing people or being cut out from the group. I don't really care about all of that. For me, I like, I like art and I like craftsmanship and I like the balance of those things. What I saw, honestly, was a bunch of overproduced movie making. What I saw was the Star Wars prequels. I saw computers and money and technology and it's polished. But I wanted to see some puppets. I wanted to see some quirky things. I wanted to see something different. The newness of the original Star Wars in contrast to the movies of the time. I wanted to see more art. I felt like I was watching something similar to watching someone do an interview for a job. And you can see the interviewee asking, uh, the interviewer asking the interviewee some questions. And the interviewee is just nailing all the answers. What's one plus one? Two. And they do it with the perfect intonation. They have the perfect clothes on. And it just seems so, it just seems so safe. I think that's the word I'm looking for. I don't want to say fake because some people just like being safe. But for me as a judge, that's not good enough. I can give first place, but I probably don't want to just keep watching that over and over again. I can probably see that same set done by many, many, many other dancers. And I can't tell the difference between those dancers. I will tell you the, the, the couple that had the white, he had the white shirt on and he had the, uh, the animal hair, you know, the wild hair. And Tan, she had, uh, like, I believe it was a blue. It's weird because she looks like one of my dance partners, but it's not her. <laughs> she had, like, blue with flowers and red shoes. I liked their energy. I liked the fact that he was, like, shaking his head and doing extra things and energy. It made me say, maybe I should pay attention more because I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I also liked the other gentleman, Gontran, and his partner. They were doing like little syncopations and timing. And of course, yeah, they weren't as polished when it came to the control part of the technique. And I wish they would have been in certain places, like diversified some of the movement a little bit as much as maybe uh, Jonathan and Anna. But at the same time, I could appreciate what they were doing because I, it amplified the music more. They weren't just moving to a metronome, just doing moves. You know, just just move, move, move. It's on beat, but it's just keep moving. I didn't feel like they that couple did that. Gontron, his partner. So, guys, that's me. That's my opinion. I give props to where props is due on the craftsmanship part, but that only represents one part of how I judge. And if everybody else is suffering on that one part, we have a clear winner. Whoever can do the control and the technique the best is the winner to me. But if we had two couples that were just as good and well polished doing that, I'm going to be looking for distinct characteristics that set them apart. I'm going to see who can make the music look the best. Who can make the music sound the best? Who can make me want to go buy the CD because of their dancing? That's tough stuff to do. And then I want to see, hey, who came up with something I've never seen before? I want to be wowed as someone in the audience. Some of these audience members, I think they're doing their due diligence. It's like, I'm supposed to look. I'm supposed to clap. The DJs and the, the MC supposed to get me excited and I might clap. It's like LOL, right? We don't really laugh out loud. We might chuckle <laughs> when we're in front of our computer when someone says something funny. I think the audience was kind of doing that too because they kind of felt a little underwhelmed. 
I, you know, that's just me. That's my observation. I could be wrong. Everybody be, could be so blown away by what they've seen. And they're so elated that they are just shell-shocked in, like, disbelief. And they don't want to say a word. They just want to sit in silence. I don't know, guys. But for me, I'm happy. But, yeah, it's a little underwhelming. It is a little underwhelming. I'm waiting for the future dancers, those couples out there who care enough to not care. I don't know if you know what I mean by that. They'll, they'll do just, as, just enough of what's necessary to placate all of the politics and all of the stuff that's necessary. I call that control. Just do the control part. Learn all the moves everybody wants you to learn. Do their moves in the competition so you can wink at the judges. Do all of that. That's good. But I want to see the one that's like, you know, I did that. I've done my quota. Now it's time for me to destroy. And I haven't seen that, guys. And I want to see more of that. It's been a long time since I've seen that. And let's hope we'll get a chance to see that. So what do you guys think about this competition? Was I wrong? Do you think uh, Jonathan and Nana shouldn't have won? Do you think they were a little overrated? Do you think they didn't have enough competition? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section. Let us know. You guys have an opinion? Don't be afraid to post your opinion. This is a, I live in America. We have freedom of speech and freedom of thought. You can think what you want. You can say what you want, but make sure it's, it's decent. <laughs> make sure you're not just coming up with some weak argument that has no like coherent reasoning. And don't give me any circular reasoning for any idea. Just, just tell me why. Why you like something, why you don't like something. It doesn't mean you have to destroy the other person who doesn't agree with you. So let me know what you thought in the comment section. You guys know what I thought. If you're struggling with these types of competitions, I'd encourage you to check out my school. I, I dive into detail on how to win Jack and Jill's. How to do it. I'm talking a lot about some of these things. We help you guys determine what's objective and what's subjective so that you can quickly master all of the objective stuff and then start to develop your own personal style. We put together a class where we're just working on creativity. We call it the art of creativity. So if you're interested in that, I encourage you to check out my school, some of the links below. If you guys wanna just get a taste of what we do in our school, we got uh, moves we post every single week. We try to do new stuff that you haven't seen before so that you can begin to be inspired by what you see and get on the journey of creativity to inspire the dancers of the future. So I encourage you, check out some of my free courses below. I got like 20, 25 courses just to give you a taste of what I spend all my hours doing. I got a home studio right next door. And I'm in here pounding, working hard as if I'm a musician writing songs. And I wish other people would work that hard too. So if you're interested in that and you want to be a part of our community, check it out. So guys, let me know what you thought about the Battle 2020, the Strictly Lindy Pro Finals. I have mixed feelings. I got mixed results. Um, but there's a clear winner. But I'm, I'm just satisfied. I wouldn't say the dinner was perfect. I'll just say, you know, it was good and we went to a movie and it was just a good movie. It wasn't spectacular. wasn't bad. It was, it was just a good movie. And in my book, sometimes that's terrible if it's just a good movie. But I'm in a good mood today, so I'm not going to I'm not going to clown anybody too much. But I will say, you heard my opinion, so let me know what you think in the comment section. If I don't get a chance to see you online in one of my classes, hopefully I get a chance to see your opinion in the next reaction video. Take care.